Hello, Year 7s. It's the Energy Booklet. It's Lesson 6. Um, we've just got to go over Homework 2, which was to construct a table with the following headings. Potential or stored energy and kinetic or movement energy. And we've got one, two columns here. So, let's have a look at this. A can of petrol that has a lot of stored energy chemical energy so that's going to go in the left hand column water on top of a waterfall that's got a lot of stored gpe gravitational potential energy a stretched bow with an arrow that has yet to be released you have got a lot of stored elastic energy there so water in a surf wave well that wave is moving it's got kinetic energy that will be in the right hand column an arrow halfway to the bullseye that is also moving at high speed it's got kinetic energy and a car travelling down the road also has kinetic energy so far we've had three on each side what you need to do is come up with Another example of your own for potential or stored energy and another object that is possessing kinetic or movement energy and that will get you your eight marks out of eight. Write down what you got, put a circle around it and let's move on. So we're going to look at a short video and then we will complete Experiment 3, the hand-powered torch. So, um, experiment number three, um, when I squeezed the handle on the torch, it was kinetic energy was turned into electrical energy in the wires and then into light and wasted heat energy in the bulb. That's the answer to the first one. Let's move on. See if you can't fill the gaps in with the burning magnesium even before I actually show you the video. So the video is going to come up in a second. See if you can't fill it in first, the gaps. So, <clears throat> nice simple one, when we uh, burn magnesium, when the magnesium burns, chemical energy stored inside it gets turned into light and heat energy. It burns very brightly indeed. Okay, let's have a look at a quick video, video on the photovoltaic car. Okay, the volto, photovoltaic car, the torch provides light energy. Yes, once again, the torch provides light energy, which is turned into 
electrical energy by the solar cell which is then turned into kinetic energy by the motor in the car which makes it move uh, a match head that is surrounded with foil um, do not try this experiment at home we will have a go at this once you return to school but do not try this at home it can cause a fire so let's watch a video on the match head in foil So he's wrapping the match head up in the foil, nice and compressed. Putting it onto the edge of a tripod, heating it up. Watch what happens. Okay, so let's complete this paragraph. When I heated up the match, it, whew, it exploded. It moved. This happened because stored chemical energy inside the match head gets changed into, there's a lot of heat, there was a lot of light, there was a lot of kinetic energy and there was even, even some sound because it was a miniature explosion. Wow! Now we're going to have a look at a video uh, of a steam engine and a number of energy changes that occur. Now the fuel itself goes in here. It's a solid fuel. It's not mentioned in the video. It's a type of wax. It's actually called meta fuel. It's a solid waxy substance. And what energy does this fuel contain? It contains stored chemical energy. Now let's have a look at the video first before we carry on with the rest of these questions. Excellent of the steam engine. What we have, we have a boiler, which we put water into. We have some fuel. It's a hydrocarbon fuel, we're using wax, but um, on a larger scale we might use coal or oil. And we set light to the fuel, it heats the water, the water turns into steam. The steam We'll travel through this pipe. We have a tap here. We can allow the tap to come through to here, which is a piston in a cylinder. Steam drives the piston and makes this wheel turn. When the wheel turns, it's connected by a rubber band or a spring to a dynamo. That dynamo generates electricity and we should be able to see this bulb lighting up when the machine is in action. As extra goodies we have a whistle and we have a safety valve. 
because steam um, in a boiler under pressure can be quite dangerous. So I've just released the valve. We've had this going for a while now. There's plenty of pressure in the system. And you notice we're generating electricity. The oil is lighting up. I'll turn that off and back on again. You see that bulb glowing. Bonus. That's the whistle. It's not very good, but it's a whistle. Right then, when the when this fuel burns, what useful energy is given off? there's a lot of heat given off. There is some light, but it's the heat that is useful. What does this energy do to the water? Changes water into steam. What makes the flywheel turn? This is the flywheel here. It's because of the steam pressure. It forces the flywheel to start turning. The flywheel then turns the dynamo. What energy does the dynamo produce? Well, that converts movement energy into electric energy. And then the energy produced by the dynamo is changed into a useful type of energy in the lamp. What sort of energy is this? Well, it's obviously light. complete the energy flow chart for the steam engine and the dynamo. Well, in the first section, we've got chemical energy in the fuel. It's converted into heat energy as the fuel burns. Kinetic energy, as the flywheel turns, is then converted into electrical energy in the dynamo and finally, light energy in the lamps. That is the end of lesson six.